I present the Bayesian virtual epileptic patient. Uh, so I briefly uh, present the, the concept behind the Bayesian inference, and then I show you some uh, uh, programming uh, has been done in the uh, Python and Stan software. So the work has been done in Marseille also to run because this stuff is computationally expensive. Also, we have used the uh, uh, supercomputer in Unique also uh, with the help and collaboration with Sandra and Alex. So uh, the Bayesian model inversion, the aim is that we have a set of uh, differential, uh, nonlinear differential equation, often a stochastic differential equation, and our aim is to invert the, the state space equation and to infer the on now model parameters. Uh, to do so, we use Bayesian inversion because uh, we are interested in the uncertainty uh, uh, encoded in the estimation uh, uh, as a confidence interval uh, for the estimated parameter. Uh, following Bayesian rule, we have uh, to provide the uh, prior information for the parameter, what we know. Uh, about the model parameter, and then we construct the likelihood function, the probability of observing data given the uh, set of uh, parameter, and then by a Bayesian rule, we construct the posterior uh, uh, distribution, the probability of observe the probability of the data given the observation, and. Uh, uh, in the context of neuroscience, one of the main well-established framework is dynamical causal modeling. However, uh, we have some uh, more advantage compared to DCM. In particular, we invert the nonlinear differential equation. We do not linearize around the uh, fixed point of the system. And also, we fix it, it is at the whole brain network modeling. So we consider the whole brain network and the connection between the different uh, brain area uh, are given by the structure connectivity matrix, which is a fixed, and we do not interested in the causality between the uh, brain areas. In in this study, the application is the for epilepsy. Uh, so the uh, a, a BVEP can be encoded as a TVB uh, epilepsy for the forward simulation, and then PPL programming, uh, probabilistic programming language, which has been recently developed and has been very popular in the domain of machine learning. Uh, so the whole, the, the, the BVEP framework is that following the TVB reconstruction, we construct the whole brain network modeling at each neural, at, uh, at each brain area, we put a neural mass model here in this study. For the epilepsy, we put a uh, we embed the epileptor model at each brain area, and then we provide a spatial map of epileptogenicity at each brain area. Then we construct a virtual epileptic uh, patient model. Then we simulated by TVB, the whole brain simulation. We can observe that depending on the critical parameter of the epileptor model, the seizure trigger in the sum area here shown in the red. Uh, and then it propagates to some candidate brain region uh, here shown in the yellow that they are candidate brain region for the seizure propagation. Then we use probabilistic programming language. There are many pro uh, PPL uh, such as uh, STAN, PyMC3, Edward, uh, uh, PyTorch, TensorFlow. And then in here we use STAN and PyMC3 and then using the PPL we invert the whole uh, uh, brain simulation, the state space equation, and to infer the model parameter. And in the case of uh, epilepsy, we can provide a, 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 we can a delta S score in order to, uh, for the hypothesis testing, to evaluate the uh, clinical hypothesis. And of course, uh, uh, PPL provides us uh, mainly two algorithms, uh, NOTS, uh, uh, which is the self-tuning of Hamiltonian Monte Carlo sampling and also add V auto variation, uh, variational inference, automatic differential variation inference. They provide us automatic differentiation of the function and also the self-tuning of the algorithm. So we do not to tune the algorithm parameter. However, we need to translate the model in their language. And of course, uh, we can use the <clears throat> uh, 
uh, high performance computing for the parallel running of the Monte Carlo <coughs> uh, chains. So I, in the Jupyter notebook, I can show you some of the uh, results. So here, the wiki for the Bayesian virtual epileptic patient, the two PPL that has been used, PyMC3, PyMC3 is in a pure uh, Python language. You can uh, translate your, uh, you can benefit from the uh, Python in particular TVB is in Python and then easily can be linked with the TVB. You can, for, uh, you can perform your forward simulation in, a, in TVB and then using the PyMC3 to invert the model parameter. And uh, in particular for, uh, uh, to speed up the, uh, the sampling, we can use a STAN, which has different interface such as R, uh, Python, CMDS stand in particular for the shell and common line terminal, which in this study we use the CMDS stand and also Julia and also the other language. So <clears throat> it is based on the CP, in, in, based on the C++ language and uh, you can perform your pre-processing and post-processing of your data in your desired language and the uh, but the model need to translate in a stand language. So here in the Jupyter notebook uh, uploaded in Collabs, I here for a virtual epileptic patient uh, implemented in a TVB, we can uh, load the structure connectivity matrix provided by the TVB reconstruction pipeline. And then we can, the gain metrics, if you are interested in the uh, SEEG at the sensor level, uh, uh, at the sensor level propagation seizure, and then we can simulate using the TVB, uh, and then uh, the seizure initiation and propagation. And then we can save uh, the forward simulation, and then using the, for instance, here, the Bayesian virtual epileptic in PyMC3, we need to provide the uh, uh, the data input, which is, uh, has been simulated by TVB, then we need to provide some prior knowledge for parameter, in particular for epileptogenicity hypothesis testing. And the prior, we can provide, we can uh, construct the likelihood function in a stand language, and then we call this uh, BWEB, uh, depending on your parameterization, we use non-center transform of the par uh, parameterization, and then we can run the, the model, we can, uh, we can uh, uh, run the Hamiltonian Monte Carlo, and then, uh, for instance, here, it has been that the, the simulated data and then the, the, the posterior predictive check the seizure initiate in some region and then propagate to other region. Here, the violent plot, the posterior predictive check, the, the gram truth here is shown here. We have two epileptogenetic zone, three propagation zone, and the rest of the, uh, the nodes are healthy. So we can see the posterior predictive check uh, correctly. We can infer the correctly the, the gram truth of the parameter and we can run uh, many chains uh, with the random initialization. And then this is, for instance, here for four MCMC. And then following the uh, posterior, predict predict uh, sorry, <laughs> posterior predictive check, we can use the R hat diagnostic in order to check the convergence of MCMC that the detailed balance has been satisfied in the Hamiltonian Monte Carlo simulation, if they are uh, smaller than, uh, if they are close to one, then the Hamiltonian Monte Carlo have been uh, converged to the true posterior. And uh, also I can show you the, for instance, the fitting for the Bayesian inference for one epileptor. So uh, following the simulation in the TVB, so here, this is the stand language that we can, it, it has different, it has different block. So the data block that we provide the simulation, then the, the, the parameter that we are, we are interested to infer, and then we implement the model in the stand language 
to construct the likelihood function, and then we uh, we sample and then uh, the posterior predictive check uh, constructed from the stand language here, for instance, in a CMD stand, the model has been compiled and then it has been run, for instance, for four chains. And then we can uh, visualize, for instance, this is the simulation and this is the, the fitting, the, the hidden state and the estimated parameters. For instance, here, the ground truth show in the red bar and then the posterior uh, <clears throat> Uh, distribution for the estimated parameter, and also uh, in the phase plane that we, uh, we have uh, in the epileptogenetic zone, we have a limit cycle and an unstable fixed point, and also we can see a good agreement with the simulation uh, in the inference, and then the diagnostic that to uh, to ensure that the Hamiltonian Monte Carlo have been converged, and of course here the the, the main the main diagnostic is R hat diagnostics. If they are close to one, uh, the MCMC have been converged. Of course, this uh, uh, probabilistic programming language, they are sensitive to the form of parameterization. It needs to, in, in order to uh, avoid the high curvature in the, uh, in the status, in the parameters uh, search space, we need to transfer uh, the, the form of the sampling in order to speed up and, off, uh, and also uh, for the convergence of the uh, sampling. And in the real data, here the workflow that we have constructed, some documentation we have provided there, the model we have used the epileptor at the network level, which they are connected with the structure connectivity matrix. And then we can visualize the brain region and the electrodes and the uh, then we can, uh, based on the SEG signal here, for instance, in the real data, then we can, uh, then uh, we we perform the pre-processing analysis in order to construct the the envelope of the seizure uh, initiation and propagation. And in in the real data, we estimate the envelope of the seizure uh, based on the uh, <clears throat> by the forward simulation. And then here, at, uh, for instance, this is the fitting target. And then we constantly, we have uh, built a model in the stand language. And here it is shown for just a, a simple, for a few nodes, uh, because they are computationally expensive, then the simulation and then the, the fitting. Uh, so, this is then, if I come back to the slides, so for one patient and the, for, the, for another patient, it has been shown uh, based on the, how, how we recovered the ground truth. And then uh, we have uh, obtained a similar accuracy of the estimation in both the STAN and PIMC3 language. Uh, however, uh, STAN language is more efficient Rather than PyMC3, they have there is that the, there are trade-off between using PyMC3 and a Stan. A Stan is a popular PPL with a large community, uh, but uh, PyMC3 is in a pure Python. Provide us different sampling algorithm and optimization uh, for the user. And the face plane that I've uh, shown you for the epileptor model uh, for healthy zone, so here the simulation, and then in France for the propagation zone, when the, uh, we are close to saddle node bifurcation and epileptogenetic zone, when there is an unstable fixed point and the, there is a limit cycle there. Uh, and then also uh, the Hamiltonian Monte Carlo provides us a non-parametric uh, uh, sampling form. We can use the variational inference for the uh, epileptor model we have obtain the similar estimation using the variational inference. Uh, variational inference are faster than uh, uh, Hamiltonian Monte Carlo, uh, but in a case of multimodality, uh, the mean field variant of the ADV is unable to recover all the posterior modes. And uh, uh, for the uh, Hypothesis testing, epileptogenetic uh, hypothesis testing, we can use the fully Bayesian information, information criteria 
in order to rule out uh, the, the, some uh, clinical hypotheses or uh, pro provide the high confidence for a clinical hypothesis, which of course the level of information we have there play a critical role. Uh, more level of prior information provide us more significant uh, model evidence uh, for a particular hypothesis. Thank you very much uh, for your attention and acknowledge uh, the Jurisa uh, supercomputer for helping us to running for multiple patients and for, thank you. <laughs>